Greetings. This is Dennis Bestovka, game audio sound designer and integrator. The purpose of this video is to share a little down and dirty proficiency with setting up a reverb zone in Wise and Unity. First, let's go over to Wise and see what we have set up. Just like on an analog console or DAW, we set up an auxiliary channel before the master, and on that augs channel, we insert a reverb here under effects. In this case, we're using one of the included audio kinetic reverbs, which aren't bad at all. Then, if we open up the plugin over here, we've got all our standard parameters for reverb, room size, pre-delay, decay time, high frequency damping, etc. For this demo, I've exaggerated the decay and mix way above what would be normal worldization, just so we can really hear the effect working. The other important thing here is to allocate whatever you want to send to the reverb in the game by checking Use Game Defined Auxiliary Sends, in this case, our third person character. Next, let's go over to Unity, where I've set up a couple simple cubes to simulate a sort of hallway. And inside this hallway, I've set up a box collider filling its entirety, which will trigger our reverb on entry. The important thing on this object is to add our AK environment script and assign our reverb augs here. Lastly, we want to make sure our third person character is environment aware down here. Well, without further ado, let's run it and hear what we've got. I'm going to start out with dry footsteps. Here's our verb. Dry again. Turn around and hear it again. And that, my friends, is a quick down and dirty reverb zone. Thank you for joining me in this demo, and stay tuned for more personal projects with Wise and Unity.